Lord Heen of the gracious star Vega. Lord Heen. Presently, Earth is facing a grave danger. Queen of Vega, you must send Yazael to Earth at once. Elohim, the God of the Earth. Someone, please bring Yazael here immediately. Yes, Your Highness. What can I do for you? Yazael. It's earlier than planned, but Earth is in need of your help and we must send you at once. Wait, to Earth? Understood. But I'm concerned about Vega's security in my absence. Do not worry about that. You can leave its defense in our hands. As we speak, the birthplace of our great Lord Elohim, Earth is facing a grave and imminent danger. Earth is in danger? As I am certain that you're aware, the god of the Earth, Elohim, along with Vega's Lord, Heen, are incarnations of the primordial Buddha of the universe, the existence is born to guide each planet. Therefore, the people of Earth are considered to be our kin. If the Earth were to perish, it would mean losing this solar system's spiritual training ground and we would be deprived of the great opportunity to learn from the primordial Buddha of the universe. I understand. If Lord Elohim requests my assistance, I won't falter. I will set off for my mission immediately. Thank you. Uh. I shall grant you this, Vega's sacred treasure. Please take it, and use it to protect the Earth. This? It has the ability to change its form as necessary. It's Vega's sacred sword. Here is Vega's crystal and the mirror of change. These are Vega's sacred treasures imbued with our teachings. Use them well. Those who are righteous must be mighty, and those who are mighty must deepen their love. Vega's secret teachings are about harmony and change. Based on what you learned here, if you are able to gain that deeper wisdom from the God of the Earth, Yaisael, you will become invincible.
Stand by! We will be departing Vega shortly and making the jump to Earth, where Lord Elohim is! Three, two, one! What's that? A huge meteorite! Look at that! It's already so close to Earth! We are ready to shoot! Fire! What? It isn't working! This is bad! It's going to enter the atmosphere! It'll crash into Earth! Commander Yazaya! Come here upon your request. I shall be at your service, Lord Elohim. I hereby pledge to devote myself to you and to the future of this beautiful earth. Yaisayan, I'm glad you came all the way here. I want you to work together with everyone. Fight to protect this planet from harm. That meteorite was impossible to destroy with our conventional attacks. Most likely, it is because someone tampered with it. If I had to guess, I'd say it was some sort of meteorite bomb. If that's the case, it could get worse. If this was just someone's first attempt, the mastermind behind it might come back to attack us on a much larger scale next time. Were you able to find out where exactly the meteorite had originated? We're currently investigating it. 
But we have good reason to believe it was launched from the Centaurus Beta, since we've recently engaged in close combat with them. Oh, I see. I'm also thinking, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they're working with an accomplice. In any case, Yaisael, I'm curious what kind of power it was that you used to destroy the meteorite. I believe it was because of this. It is the Sacred Sword of Vega, and it's imbued with Vega's teachings. That sword... It's the renowned treasure sword that's able to transform its shape. It's a legendary sword. Even among the people of Vega, only a few chosen ones can ever master the use of it. And that isn't all. The Queen of Vega sent me here with other treasures as well. She instructed me to make good use of these for Earth. Those are Vega's crystal and the Mirror of Change. All of the three sacred treasures. These will prove useful. We'll have to figure out how to adapt the crystal to Earth, but I have faith it will aid us. First, we should bring it to Stanleyman for further analysis. Hmm. How fascinating. This is a rare crystal indeed. In fact, I've never seen one like it on Earth before. Do you think it would be possible to use it to make some sort of weapon for us? Let me think on it. I'm not yet sure how we would be able to utilize its power. But still, what fantastic treasures Vega has. More than likely, this crystal chooses its owner. Chooses its owner? The three sacred treasures of Vega are not for the sake of oneself. The only way they're able to work is if they are used exclusively for the sake of others' happiness or realizing justice in tune with God's will. For Earthlings to be able to use this, they would have to possess a strong sense of justice and self-sacrifice. Otherwise, a treasure such as this would be rendered useless. And Yazael, you might not be aware of this just yet, but subconsciously you've fulfilled the condition to use them. Of course. It's God's will to defeat evil throughout the land and to promote his justice. I refuse to ever fight if it is not in the name of justice. Hmm. Yes, I am. Presently, to overcome this crisis on Earth, we are in the process of recruiting new soldiers. And I would like for you to train them, to shape them into elite troops that will be ready to fight for Earth when we face the next battle. You can consider it done. <laughs> 